Okay, a little video on replacing a alternator on the GL1800. Uh, there's numerous ways to do this. There's a couple of YouTube uh, videos that are really good and uh, they explain in full how to do this. Everybody uses, uh, it seems like, a different approach to it though. And uh, I'm just going to show you one that I've used and I just did mine. This is actually not my bike, it's a customer bike. But um, I, uh, I just did mine. It took a total of about 20 minutes start to finish to remove and replace the alternator. Uh, tools you're going to need is a screwdriver, one of these magnetic uh, telescopic doohinkies, and if you want to Google that, I think it comes up under magnetic doohinky. Uh, this is a must. It's a um, swivel head ratchet wrench, 3 8 drive. Uh, this one here is a Craftsman. It's got a real narrow profile, and uh, I think that's kind of important that you know, some of them have the, uh, the rotation adjustment on the head here. This one has the lever. I think this is a little bit lower profile. So you might want to check on that to make sure that's going to be uh, the proper unit. Uh, then a 3-inch extension, 12-millimeter socket. And I duct taped it on there because the very first socket I used ended up down in there somewhere uh, in the twilight zone. So uh, if you don't want it to go in there, you want to do that. And uh, the hardest bolt to get out is this one back in here. I've got a flashlight here. I don't know if you can see. Way back here is a bolt. These two are pretty easy. Uh, I've got a 12 millimeter ratchet socket, which goes right on here. And as you can see, it's uh, you know real easy to get a hold of that. The one down below here, you stick a screwdriver in there to move the, uh, the hose out of the way. And then this slides right in there. And away you can go. So you can ratchet that one out. So this is uh, this is very important to have a ratchet socket. Uh, but that top bolt killer, uh, once you unhook your wiring, this just slips in here like this. Kind of helps here because I can grab the uh, the socket and pull it over, and there we are. And then you just ratchet up and down. I'm not going to really take this part because, like I say, it's a customer bike, and I'm not. Uh, replacing his alternator. I'm just doing the video here. So, but anyway, once that comes out and you get it loose, you take your magnetic thing and you slide the bolt out and the bottom one, and the whole unit just slips back, turns, comes right out. Put the new one in and just reverse the procedure. I did grease the end of it so it slides in nice. And once you get it all lined up, you take a screwdriver in here and you just kind of give it a little push and she'll pop right in and uh, hook up your wiring and uh, it's a done deal and uh, it um, seems like one of those things that's a very uh, daunting task but it actually is straightforward easy to do much easier than doing a alternator on a car uh, I think it's easier than doing a rear tire it's just uh, it was very easy and I had expected a nightmare and I ended up uh, with a pretty easy project. So hopefully that'll help you out, uh, give you a way to start. And like I say, there's other videos, you know, look at them all and uh, use whatever works the best for you. Thanks. And a word about the, <clears throat> the brand of, of alternator I used, uh, the factory original OEM part is a Mitsubishi unit. Uh, I got mine from DB Electric. If you buy the OEM, it's about 450 bucks. If you get a, uh, a DB Electric one, uh, brand name unknown, um, they're about $125. So about a $300 saving, a little bit more than that. Um, and uh, I watched a video um, on where a guy actually disassembled the whole thing, compared parts, and there's real minor imperfections on the castings. And by imperfections, I mean just, you know, little flare points, maybe a little sand indentation or something. And he said the uh, DB Electric and the Mitsubishi were a perfect identical match all the way down to the defects. These tabs and everything are exactly the same. The angle, the fins are the same. So I'm guessing, and I'm just speculating here, that uh, whoever makes these alternators, uh, either Mitsubishi makes them and... Uh, and sells them to DB Electric, which I believe is a, a Kentucky company. Um, or uh, there's a Chinese company that makes them and then Mitsubishi rebrands them. I'm just guessing. But uh, I have no problem with the DB Electric. I, I uh, went to the Better Business Bureau 
uh, did a whole bunch of checking on them. They've got a really good uh, rating. They do alternators and starters for uh, motorcycles and automotive, cars, diesels, uh, all kinds of high output stuff. And um, their ratings have been excellent. I think I went through 500 different comments and the only ones I found that were negative were uh, problems with uh, using the website and payment information. But uh, I think I only found one or two that actually said the alternators were defective which is a pretty good, uh, pretty good rating. So if you're looking at replacing it and you're wondering, should I get OEM or get DB? Uh, I guess I would recommend the DB just because they're cheaper and I'm uh, assuming um, that they're the same unit. So uh, hopefully that'll also help you.